this week's hot video. We thought we'd come back and start this week with where we did our first video at the end. So we're going to start with some of our wine and roses wygelias here. And you can see that uh, these guys are ready to go right now. Full of color for summer color for your garden center or landscape ready for your landscape jobs. Um, these were trimmed back right when we were out here on our first video. Now you can see the growth we've got. Uh, we will probably come back and give these one more trim job, light trim job, so that they're going to be ready for your fall and spring jobs as well. So we're going to highlight some more shrubs and also show you some trees in the field. And we'll pass it on to Tom. Hi, this is a Mohican Viburnum in a five gallon container. As you can see, this plant's about 24 to 30 inches right now. Ultimately, it'll get to about nine foot by nine foot. It's a great landscape plant, giving you the nice white flowers in the late springtime. And then in the fall, you've got the uh, reddish black fruit. So there's interest with this plant uh, in three different seasons. Here's one of our Hydrangea Corcofolia Snow Queens. Uh, excellent example of just the way that it grows. It has a stoloniferous habit, so they're going to grow wider than they will tall. Um, gets a nice bright white uh, cone shaped flower on it. Generally it'll go about 8 to 12 inches. Uh, the nice thing about Hydrangea Corcofolia is you get a lot of season of interest. Uh, in the fall you'll get some nice reds and maroons and bronze colors and then in the winter time you'll be able to uh, see the exfoliating bark on it. Just an excellent landscape plant. Hi, this is our Malice American Salute. It's an LCN selection. This tree is more of an upright tree. It gets about 18 foot tall by about 10 foot wide. In the springtime it has a beautiful rosy red flower on it and the uh, foliage comes out a nice dark color and then it stays nice dark green as the season goes on. You can see uh, for this time of the year it's very clean. What we have here is one of the mainstays of ornamental trees, Cleveland Select Pear. Uh, just an excellent uniform growing, gets about 15 foot wide, 35 foot tall, uh, attains a nice pyramidal shape, loaded with bloom in the spring. Just very, very nice. Um, in a lot of landscapes, it's just uh, one of the staples. To wrap up this week's video, we're going to go ahead and look at a tree that you normally wouldn't see as a tree form. You'd normally see in a clump, and that's the heritage birch. Um, we've been, been growing this for about two or three years now in a tree form. We find it an excellent tree. Uh, it's got some really good benefits. It's a little lower cost than some of your other expensive shade trees. It takes wet conditions. And what we're finding out from a lot of the cities that this works much better than they thought uh, salt tolerant wise for city streets. So it's definitely something you should consider in your next planting or landscape job. Thanks for watching and have a great week.